Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate the warm welcome, man. You guys excited to go fishing tomorrow or what? Let me hear it. Oh, y'all can do better than that. It's a national championship. Come on. Let me hear it. There we go. All right. Right on. Right on. Right on. Man, uh, first and foremost, I want to congratulate each and every one of you guys for qualifying and making it here to the national championship uh, as a national champion myself. Um, I know the road that it takes to get here, all the hard work, the preparation, the dedication, the sleepless nights, the sacrifices, being away from your families, you know, it's, uh, it's tough. Plus, you guys are also students, man, so you guys got a lot on your plate with schoolwork as well. So, um, big congratulations, and give yourself a round of applause just for making it to the national championship. So, what I decided to do, I... Uh, I got asked by Scott Arms with Ranger Boats to come and be the keynote speaker. I've never been a keynote speaker before. And uh, at first I was a little leery, but then I started thinking about my path that I took to become a professional angler. And I thought it coincided really well with the exact same path that you guys are taking uh, as collegiate anglers. Of course, I'm sure every time you guys talk to somebody 35 and up, they always go, oh man, I wish they had college fishing when I was a kid, right? I'm the same way, man. I didn't have college fishing, though. Uh, for me, it was more of the grassroots. You know, I started out, I'm originally from California, the Bay Area. And, um, you know, I grew up with the same passion that you guys all have for the sport. But luckily for me, you know, I had uh, club members. And then I was, I joined uh, the Bass Federation, the TBF, at a very early age. And that's kind of where I cut my teeth and, and got my first uh true love for, for tournament angling because we all know it's, it's a little bit different than sitting on the side of the bank with a can of worms and a bobber trying to catch some bluegill. You know, it's a, it's a definitely, uh, it's a commitment and it's a different level. And that's where I got my, my love for the sport. Um, but to say all that, to say, I feel like the path that you guys are taking as college anglers, it's, it's getting you guys prepared to potentially be on the Bassmaster Elite Series on the FLW tour, on Major League Fishing. How many of you guys want to fish full time? Guys and gals. I recognize there are some gals out there as well. Let me see a show of hands. We got professional anglers in the house. There we go. Quite a few of you guys. And not everybody has the ambition to become a professional angler, but whatever the endeavor is that you guys pursue, you know, the path that you're taking right now is going to prepare you for that. And uh, I feel like my story is, is, is very similar. So um, quick little, little backstory on me uh, without going too depth. But uh, I was fortunate in 2013, you know, I, I uh, qualified through two years of quali qualification rounds. I made it to the national championship. Basically, I was sitting out where you guys are sitting right now. Uh, in 2013, and I had the passion, I had the drive, I wanted to compete, I wanted to fish, but I didn't know how I was going to do it. You know, I didn't, I didn't grow up with rich parents, I didn't have a lot of money, um, so TBF was the answer for me, and I never knew how I was going to get there, you know, but I always stayed focused, motivated, and determined to pursue my dream as a professional angler, and TBF gave me that opportunity, and uh, like I was saying, in 2013, I was fortunate enough to win the national championship. And that was the living the dream package that FLW provided, which literally changed my life. You know, I was a blue collar American working nine to five, busting my butt, taking care of my family. And I was a weekend warrior. I fished on weekends. But I had that vision and I had that drive and that passion for the sport. And I never let anything deter me from pursuing that. Um, Everybody's going to run into those naysayers, you know, and, and, and in your age and age group, I got kids, you guys call them haters, you know, you're going to always have haters. They're going to tell you, oh man, what are you doing? What are you, you know, I walked away from a full-time job making 75000 a year, benefits, 401k, etc. but I had a passion and I had a dream, you know, that's the beauty of being an American. We live in the United States of America, one of the, the best country in the world, and it allows you to do that. You can pursue your dream. And so that's the message that I wanted to get here and convey to all you young anglers. Never give up. Keep your eyes on the prize. Pursue your dreams. And uh, go catch some big bass. I don't like Pickwick tomorrow. Right on. And, and one last thing that I wanted to leave you guys with without talking your ear off. I know everybody's anxious to go get some rods and reels rigged. 
But uh, I wanted to leave you guys with uh, a, a tip or, or some insight on sponsorship. How many of you guys got Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, all the, all the social media outlets? It's huge nowadays, right? And I constantly get hit up by kids from middle school all the way up to college students, all the way up to adults hitting me up on Facebook, Instagram, etc. Hey, Mark, man, how do you get sponsored? You know, I'm looking to get sponsorship. I want to be a professional angler. I want to do this. I want to do that. So I wanted to leave all of you guys with this last little bit because I feel like you guys are the future of the sport. And in the next few years, you guys are going to be out there competing against me, potentially, or on the FLW Tour or where have you. Um, I think the bigger question with sponsorship is what can you do for the sponsors? Um, you know, I was once in your shoes. I didn't know how to go about pursuing sponsors. I didn't know anything. I kind of learned trial by fire. But when you sit back and you really think about it, bass anglers, we're naturally entitled. We feel like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm on the college team. I'm the national championship. You should give me a boat. You should give me a truck. You should give me some Garmin units. You should give me a Bob's machine jack plate. But the reality of it is it just doesn't work like that. What can you guys do for your sponsorship? So as you guys develop and become better anglers, think about how you guys can promote and represent these companies that you potentially want to stand behind you. And I have several really good sponsors that are here um, that I'll list off briefly. You know, Ranger Boats, Garmin, Bob's Machine Shop, uh, Power Pole was here. You know, they all support me. And every day when I'm out on the water and I'm in different situations, including speaking engagements such as this, what am I doing for them that's going to continue um, to, to want them to, per, per, to back me? You know, that's what's important. So you guys think about that as you guys move forward into your careers. Um, you know, be safe out there on the water. Uh, catch some big fish. I may or may not be at weigh in tomorrow, but I'll definitely be following it. So I hope you guys uh, smash them tomorrow. I'll be safe. I guess the weather's going to be kind of kind of iffy with the wind, but uh, nevertheless, you boys go catch them up, boys and gals. And I wish all y'all the best of luck. And thank you for your time. And y'all have a good evening. Oh.